Welcome to another exciting episode of the Healthy Mind Podcast. Today's guest is another martial artist, and uh, it will be so inspiring just seeing uh, his story and how actually he's dealing with three kids and how he can give you some tips based on his experience and how to make that first essential step that move you forward and transform everything in positive what he does as a ritual every morning and uh, what he believes to actually help his mindset and go through a long day, help more people and transform more lives. This one and much more you will discover in this podcast today with Zama Rojas. Welcome Zama, it's a pleasure to have you here. Hey, how you going? <laughs> Very good, how, how are you? Oh, pretty good, man. Good talking to you. Yeah, I had a great chat with your brother and um, uh, the, the great things of these things that I'm creating or putting together different fitness professionals around the world is because we are, we're connecting just with great people, even if we never met before, it's actually very natural, the flow. Very, yeah. very natural. So that's, uh, that's amazing. I'm very grateful for that. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, th thank you for... Um... You know, for for contacting me, you know, obviously, and uh, and yeah, well, every, everything you do, you you know, the work that you're doing at the moment, uh, it's pretty cool. Are you doing similar jobs than your brother? That's that's how uh, pretty much we all started, because you know we used to do martial arts since we were little. Then when we got to Australia, you know, we um, started doing a uh, uh, BJJ and a bit of kickboxing. He he got into the Chinese uh, martial arts and. Uh, uh, you know that that's how I how I started doing all these functional stuff that we're doing. Yeah, and how, that's how I met. Um, like kettlebell, kettlebell training as well. Like, you know, that was, I think, uh, around 99 or 2000, something like that. You know, I, like I got interested in, um, because of the martial arts I was doing, all the functional stuff. Like I used to, you know, go to the gym like everybody else, you know, the gym junkies, you know, like split workout, chest and uh, triceps, you know, the good old, <laughs> you know, workouts. But uh, yeah, once I started uh, do, doing all this functional training, as they call it, you know, uh, like I got, you know, it was, that was fascinating for me, and, uh, and I, I, I just can't, can't look back, <laughs> you know. So, but yeah, so that, yeah, but mainly my, my training is at, at the moment it's more, um, you know, that, that kind of uh, kettlebell sport uh, style, you know, mixed with a uh, um, little bit of body weight as well, and, uh, and obviously, you know, barbells and stuff like that. But, uh, but yeah, but, but, you know, I play around with Bulgarian bags and clap bells and, you know, the whole thing. It's amazing when you combine different disciplines. Oh man, it's just incredible, you know. You, you, uh, it's just uh, the the way I think. I think it's got a lot to do with, um, you know, once you're understanding about it, uh, you know how the body how body works, you know, the movement and everything. Like I always see, even when I, you know, look at uh, sports, you know, the the, man, the mechanics of how you know the body uh, works, you know, that's part fascinating to me. So, yeah. It is fascinating, and then it's. Uh, is a bit different sometimes for everyone, and that's why it's so personal. But um, when you understand more about your body and you can move better, like uh, it's it's amazing. Because, for example, myself, I'm always been an athlete before. I always played sports, training. Then I got a big accident in 2006 in a motorbike, oh. and I was in a coma for the day. And when I woke up, I couldn't move. I couldn't walk, and. Um, it took me a lot of months to go back on my feet and then go back on training and then go back to kind of new normal. Uh, but I did it. It was a big journey, but it's, it's possible. And that was a great chance for me to understand more about my body and how I was feeling doing something or how I could have to, I had to modify some things. But there is always a solution. For me, that's my mentality. Uh, yeah. Sometimes there are people, something happens, I said, oh, that's it, can't do this, I can't do that, they become negative. So the purpose of connecting with other people like you is to give people more hope and give them the tools with something that we do with everyone or to ourselves. Give them the tools to become more positive and to see the light, even in this dark situation, because someone is really getting affected more mentally than, than anything else. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, and that's important, um, our support. Our support, I believe, it's, uh, it's crucial. 
and mm -hmm. uh, I'm doing a lots of lives and lots of videos talking about mindset because I believe that of course we need to exercise and stay active 100% but I believe that this is just one little thing of what we can do but if we can stay really healthy here as well with the food everything is all getting in the funnel to to be happy and um, yeah, right. and see the opportunities and live the present rather than just think about the problem mm. yeah that, that's that's uh yeah, that's pretty much um you know what we all should do at the moment and especially with all these uh you know quarantine and the uh, this virus like you know a lot of people they don't, they don't know what to do you know they think if they don't they don't they can go to the gym they can do nothing <laughs> you know so yeah, but I think I think that's the, the, the mentality of the society, um, and not only society, but you know, social media, you know, put into people's heads. You know, it's like all these, you know, we can see it all, all over social media. Like, even even though they're memes, but but you know, all those memes they kind of uh, for a lot of people it's a bit personal, you know, and, <laughs> and become part of their lives. You know, like they can yeah, really, yeah. can work out, you know, and then they start putting videos and things like that. They're getting you know out of shape or whatever. Uh, you know, just it's all, it, it's all, it's it's written all over social media. It's just a bad influence, and we are the good influence. Yeah, uh, that's it, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, so, for example, but, what do you do like with your clients if you got clients that are stuck at home? Like, if you need to help them, even with their mindset, what do you do with them? Yeah, well, uh, the you know uh, the pe people that are, that are, that are trained, uh, a, a lot of them. Well, you know, here in Canberra, there's a lot of public servants and stuff. Like that. And, and, you know, most of the people that I train, uh, you know, obviously, they, you know, I, I train some, um, uh, like, uh, people that are doctors and stuff. Like that. So, you know, they, they have a lot, a lot of things um, in their mind, you can say. Like, these people, that they, you know, they come to me and they, uh, sometimes I'm, I work a little bit of, a, you could say, a cancer, that kind of thing. Because, you know, they kind of let out, you know, what, 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 what's happening, you know. In, it's important in, to listen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's just, it's, uh, that's you know one of the. I think it's part of the. Not only me, but I think a lot of personal trainers do the same thing, you know, because well, you know while they're training, and then you you can see, you know, depends on how, because um, you know you get to know these people sometimes, that you know there's something wrong sometimes, you know, and they turn up to a session or, or whatever you talk to them, and, you know, they sound different, you know, they know themselves, so you know, and, and, and obviously you know it's a lot of encouragement we can we can we can give them, but um. You know, I, I understand as well that a lot of people have, their, you know, their own personal problems at home and, and you know, it's just, just life, I think, is, it, it, you know, it, uh, hectic for some people, but... We all have. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it, you know. Life is not perfect. We need to accept that and uh, and do our best that we can do right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's it, that's it, that's it, you know. And, uh, and obviously, you know, uh, you know one, one of the best things, that, you know, in the fitness uh, world, we do, you know, this... Uh, taking care of our body, you know, it's it's, a, it's very important, I think, you know, because obviously it's, it's not only about the aesthetics uh, side of it, but you know, even even just uh, you know, we experience it with clients that you know they see breaking a you know, when they uh, you know they set goals to lift cer certain weight or something, and they they get to that point, and, and, and you can see them, you know, how that changes in the way they think, and and even the, and they they actually. Um, that carries over to everything they do in life, you know. So uh, it's, it's it's pretty amazing how 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 important it is to take to take care of our boys, you know. So and how much do you think the power is coming from the mind and from the habits that you have, from your routine, from your discipline? Because you're coming from different disciplines too. So you grew up with martial arts, as you said, and then mm -hmm. incredible training. I guess you got uh, mm -hmm. weightlifting. So you try yeah. different disciplines, but how much in achieving the good status is coming from the mind before to get it into the body. Well, I, I think I think coming coming from a, from a martial arts background, and I, and I I don't think I don't speak only for myself, but you know even my brother Steve Cora, you know they, they come from there as well. Martial, arts. I think mindset. Uh, you can tell we we can uh, we can um, uh, how do you call this? We can uh, um, uh, you know like what's this word called? Um, we can either absorb a bit more more pain, like you know, we can actually push a little bit beyond the limits because of uh, well, you know, our personal, you know, come from uh, we did karate when I was little. You know, we go to uh, uh, 
black belt and, and all that and, and the old style like we, had, we me and my brother uh, we, we didn't we didn't train the style that they train nowadays like back in uh, in our country you know we used to train in cement you know it was no much nothing you know with us using so you know it kind of tough you up you know and and, and over there it was you know you, you you either do it or you don't do it you know and if you don't like it you just go home <laughs> And uh, in and, and kind of that's that you know it, it changes your mindset, like you know pain is kind of the whole thing, and and, and uh, but then at the same time I think I think uh, we can get to a, to a point with where we can um, uh, you could say you know it, it, for a lot of people I'm, I'm I'm talking you know thinking that what 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 I think nowadays that a hundred percent thing it, it's myth you know like training a hundred percent every time and. You know, and, and I've seen so many times people just killing themselves before they even get to not the a, not sustainable. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, you know, but but that's that's all over the place, you know, and and, and I think and I think about you know going back to what I was saying, you know, I think thanks to the uh, martial arts, uh, that's the foundation of you know how, how we started. I think that set the set the the platform for at, at least for me for my training to just push it beyond, you know, and. and uh, and that, for example, that, that shows in, uh, on the, the training that I do at the moment, the kettlebell lifting. I don't know if you've seen the kettlebell sports. It's uh, it's a lot to do with the mind because you know you gotta you gotta train. Uh, sometimes it gets a bit uncomfortable. Sometimes it be painful. You just gotta keep pushing it, you know, because that's a goal. Like at the end of uh, how how the sport works, you know, we we get ready uh, in training. So we, we train we train hard. So we compete easy, you know. To get that, so, so yeah, that, that's that's pretty, I think that's that's one of the that's the edge that uh, some uh, people with much uh, much of background have over people that just starting, you know, uh, going to the gym, you know. And um, but uh, but I think but I think it, it, you know, like like you saying, you know, the mindset it's it's very important. And uh, but I, I think it's as well uh, got a lot to do with with the uh, environment, you know, and I've seen it with, like I, I was saying before, you know, people that work here in Canberra, a lot of public servants, you know, they're very comfortable, you know, they just, they want to get, you know, they work out here, they don't want to you know, feel too, uh, like, you don't want to get out of the comfort zone sometimes, you know, and, uh, but, uh, but, you know, it, it's, it, that, that's just hard, I think, and, and, you, and you can see the difference between the ones that uh, want to move and, and the ones that just want to stay, you know, in one place, because, that's the comfort zone, you know? So, hmm. Yeah, I'm always talking about the environment because everything we're talking about, I just want to make people understand that they, they will watch this video and they follow us, is that the same mentality and philosophy is applicable for whatever other situation you are at. Hmm. Because what we're trying to say is, doesn't matter if you're coming from martial arts or other kinds of training or other kinds of sports, or you never experienced that before, that's a great chance to learn about mindset because mm. if you can leave your comfort zone or if you can face the fear, if you uh, can do that, you open, your mind open up to chances, possibilities, and solutions. And mm. it's not easy, but it's possible, it's achievable. And what is actually gained for one point, my point of view, you gain lots of confidence once you do it once, you do it twice, you do it three times, because you understand that actually the the place of not being comfort is pushing you forward in a better place mm, so whenever yeah. you are experiencing once you understand that concept whenever you are experiencing something that is difficult it's hard it's not comfortable it's scary it's painful mm -hmm. if you push through there is always something better after that but if you yeah, see yeah. there well you're just a victim or you are an effect of whatever it's happening around the society mm. you want to react my purpose is make you that you're listening right now to take action and react bounce back on whatever you think it's at now it's not it's not that bad we got technology we have food we we can reach out we can ask for help so one of the things like don't don't be afraid to ask for for help mm. if you really need it because yeah. we are all here to help so that's the oh, yeah. power of mindset and the community. Mm. So that, yeah, you, you're right. You know, in no ways, I think, especially for us men, you know, asking for help, it's, it's sometimes it's, it's hard. Because, you know, the upright or, 
you know, that, that's just the main, uh, main thing, you know, we think that we can do it ourselves, you know, and, and we, you know, like we all know girls, they always talk to each other, whatever the pro whatever problems they have, you know, that's, that's how girls have, but, but us guys that, you know, we think we're friends just to, you know, for them to, uh, you know, go party or whatever, you know, just have fun. But yeah, we just have sometimes for, well, most of the time for us to open up, you know, and I think that that's very important and you can see it, you know, the, um, you know, the cases around the world, you know, the, the, the biggest uh, man of suicide, it's men, you know, and, uh, and depression, stress and everything, you know, men, it's, you know, the highest numbers, you know, so yeah, I think, I think, uh, you know, my, mindset is very important, you know, so. Aim for uh, happiness. It doesn't matter sometimes with the way you look or, you know, as oh, yeah. as you, you feel, you feel good. If you feel you, if you feel good naturally, you can do more things. You can move more, you can achieve more. And then as a consequence, you probably will have also a better body, but that's not the point to start actually. Hmm. Yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. And, uh, and that's, that's very important, you know, waking up in the morning and, and, uh, and, you know, what you do, the first thing you do in the morning, like it sets you up for, you know, not only, not only what you eat, obviously, you know, but even the, that, that's, that, that's a classic for everybody, you know, you wake up and then you just, you don't know what to do afterwards, you know, like a zombie. Like me, for example, you know, go to work, I, I wake up at four in the morning and, uh, you know, when I wake up, you know, the first thing, because, you know, I come from a Christian background, you know, I always, you know, pray, then I do my, my joint mobility stuff and, and, and that. Even even my body, you know how it feels afterwards. You know, it just sets me up for for the whole day. And, um, so what it's talking it, about is having a routine. Having a routine, right. that whatever it is, make you feel good. If it's praying, if it's like for me, is always be grateful for three things, uh, and then set you up the at least three intentions for the day, for the day. So and is always putting input, 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 like some messages that they must to be so positive in some, uh, some way because mm -hmm. they set you up on the positive side for the rest of the day. Rather than, I bet that there are lots of people that are, are watching right now, that maybe they are depressed or they don't know what to do or uh, they say they're busy, they don't have time for these things. Usually the same people are the one that they wake up and it takes maybe an hour before they do something because they check the phone, check the email and everything. They, they have not a routine or they have the bad routine because yeah. it's, it, I see it always in this way with the ROI, which is return on investment. Return on investment, we're not always talking about money. We're talking about happiness. We're talking about um, mindset. We're talking about freedom. We're talking about energy, positive energy. So what do you do in the morning or what do you plan the night before to do in the morning mm. is actually set you up in one way or the other way. And it's only mm. your choice. It's our choice. It's not um, the society. It's not someone else. It's what we really decide to do if we set ourselves up to win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think, well, obviously, in a... But, but I think as well that that varies uh, because, you know, I got a, uh, I know a lot of people and I, and I train a lot of people as well from different cultures. And I think, I think ver uh, breaking that barrier as well is um, sometimes a bit of a challenge. Like, obviously, you know, like I train, uh, I train guys from, uh, you know, different religions and like I say, you know, traditions and stuff like that. And, and for them, that's, that's how life is, you know, so. I think mindset is very important as well. Like I, 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 I understand that, but I think that the, the spiritual side of it, I think is, I think it goes, uh, goes with it as well. And um, but, but then again, you know, I, I could speak for myself. And but uh, a lot of people have, you know, different ways of, I don't know. Uh, like I, I know about what you know, you're saying routine. That that's something I, I was going to mention. You know, that what you do the night before sets you up for, you know, for the for the next morning. You know, so all those things, even, even things like I, I do, like I, I was telling you before, you know, like I pray in the morning, I do the same thing at night. So, you know, and it, but, but I know that I have to, you know, eat good things so I can, I can feel right. Like I can, I can have a good sleep. So when I wake up the next morning, you know, I can get up feeling, you know, uh, like because, you know, how, how your body feels is very important as well. You know, so, but, but, but yeah, but going back to the, to the, you know, what I was saying about the, you know, people from, different cultures and tradition. I, th I think as well, that's, that's a big factor. I think, and, um, and yeah, well, but it's, you know, it, it's amazing. It's amazing how, um, you know, people, uh, 
have different ideas and, and different ways of doing things. Exactly. As far as you have a direction, because if you don't have a direction, it's like if you want to go on holiday and you not go, you don't know where are you going. So you keep going around the world, but you never stop somewhere until maybe you find a spot that you, you like it, maybe not. Uh, so it's important, whatever you do, whatever you believe, whatever your culture background it is, it doesn't matter. But if you have a, a, a direction, and if you don't have it, just seek for help. Um, mm. Like, yeah, I have really my important. people around me that they got my back. I have my coaches. I have my families. Like, uh, we, we all, we're all important, and we, know we all need support in some areas or, or for some reason. So don't mm. be afraid to ask for that. Um, yeah. what would you suggest for example like for the people we're talking about something that for us is a kind of normal it's a routine we practice we try to improve every day we teach it to our students but for someone that never uh, practice a routine or never practice a gratitude or something uh, do you have any simple simple tips to give it to start going in that kind of journey and set up a positive positive way a positive day and react differently okay uh well i'll tell you from the, from the point of view that uh, you know i, I told you before uh, you know I, I grew like in here i was uh, b before i got married uh, uh well even when i was I was married I, I never believed in anything like i was you know uh, just live in the moment whatever you know whatever happens and uh you know, I was I wasn't here or there. Like I didn't think about anything else. Like, and um, but I think what, what what helped me a lot, like you know, going back obviously to 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 my belief. I'm talking about from my experience. It's uh, it's uh, you know, because I'm I told you before I'm a Christian, and that you know, just praying, reading my Bible and everything, all that. I, I understand that all the mindset is very important because the Bible even says that. You know, so but but to me personally, that that's what helped me a lot. Help me, you know, use my reading, uh, reading, the, reading the scripture and, and, and praying, and you know, but obviously, obviously, acting on it and, and that taking care of my body, taking care of um, the things that I eat, and, and obviously, me, me as a father, obviously, it's uh, it's more things I have to worry about because you know, I've got three kids, and 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 life is you know, as uh, people that have kids know, uh, you know, so, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you got you know, the kids got activities. Go here, there, they go martial arts, they go this, they go that, and and, and obviously, uh, especially here, I find that you you, uh, you find yourself uh, the days look short, you know. So, so yeah, yeah. To me, that that's one of the things that helped me a lot. Like, you know, I just uh, in just talking from my experience, and uh, that just uh, just waking up in the morning, you know, praying, I read my Bible, I do my you know my 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 joint mobility stuff like that. I used to feel good, have my breakfast, go to work. You know, I go to work and, uh, you know, eat my, you know, my, uh, one of the important things as well, I think, uh, you know, all personal trainers could say this, is your, your meals during the day. You know, even the eating, how important it is, how your body's going, you know, how you're going to feel afterwards. And then, yeah, after that, like, you know, come and work because I'm, I'm the one that picks up a kid from school. I pick him up from school. I come here. I do the, uh, usually uh, I try to train before I pick him up. You know, sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes I do it late at night. And then, uh, but, but in between, you know, I, I do the, you know, I train more uh, clients during the night. And, and now, for example, now I do it, uh, this online stuff. It's awesome. So, and, and yeah, and, and once I get at night, like I put it to sleep, you know, I, well, I try to spend time with my wife. Obviously, that's, that's very important. And uh, and I do the same thing, you know. Uh, usually I have like, you know, you know, a couple of meals before I go to bed. <laughs> And, uh, but yeah, that, that worked for me. I, need, I needed to go to sleep, you know, well, if I want to have a good sleep, I, I gotta eat some. <laughs> and, uh, uh, we, we can, uh, we can like, um, put a, a like a resume everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Say, like, for example, you're gonna have rules and you're yeah. gonna understand what is really important to you. Oh, yeah, so, important to me. Okay. So, so, yeah, I, I could say that. Um, uh, well, my, my relationship with God. I would say that's number one. My relationship with God, so in everything that involves, obviously that's the pain and reading the Bible. So but my relationship with God is, is number one. Obviously my family, my family, you know, because when the house is good, everything else is good. And then obviously, uh, well, that, that, that as well takes of my well-being, obviously, because I'm, I'm the rock of my house. 
if something is wrong with my health, uh, you know, the house is not gonna, it's not, it's not gonna work well. So I would say, you know, God number one, my family, and then, and then everything else afterwards. Cause you know that I've, I've been doing it for a few years and, and, and um, since I started doing it that way, I think, you know, I, I, I'm just talking, you know, from my experience, uh, it was it was a big change in, in it, even even how you know the way I see my training, the way I see everything else. Because even my, my kids, I train my kids as well. You know they, they do the all this functional stuff, kind of lifting and everything. So, but yeah, so I would say uh, uh, you know God, family, and then and then uh, everything else after that. That's yeah. good because everyone needs to find what is really important for them. And lots of, of people that they wake up and they don't have a routine and they don't have a direction is because they don't ask themselves questions. So we need to ask ourselves session, a question. And what about the time now that we maybe some of us, not my case because I'm quite busy, but uh, <laughs> we have more time. I use that time to reflect even more mm -hmm. and ask yourself, like, what is really important to me? Because mm -hmm. maybe you realize that you're doing something that w before we were talking about um, how you invest your time. Maybe when you stop and you ask yourself a question, you realize that you're not investing your time in the things you really want to achieve, mm -hmm. want to be, the person you want to be. So that's a perfect time, for example, not the positive things of people that maybe are isolated or they're not working, they're at home. Um, reflect on these things for me is a, is a big tip because you can realize yourself what you were doing, if it was right, if it was wrong, if you need to tweak it, change a little bit, and go back in the direction that you really want to go. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself questions. Are you agree with that? Yeah, yeah, because, uh, you know, especially now with this whole, uh, you know, quarantine and, and, you know, staying home, you know, we find ourselves, and that happens to me, because, you know, at the moment, I, I'm, I'm studying as well, so, you know, I have assignments, and I got, I got books to read, but... Uh, Are you but, studying? But, uh, well, I'm doing, uh, um, you know, here's a certificate for, and uh, um, that's theology, you know. So, yeah, I'm, you know, getting deep into all that. Like, I, like you know, I, I'm planning on doing, all, you know, more studies. And I don't know, I've got, I got a lot of things in my, my mind. But, but I've, I found myself, like, instead of doing what I have to do, I, you know, sit down and watch a movie. Or, you know, I just find myself, you know, too, uh, spending too much time on social media sometimes, you know. And, and I think, you know, like, like you were saying, you know, it's putting priorities on 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 you know whatever you're doing during the day or whatever your goal is in the future i think i think that's very important but but uh, yeah that, that's what i'm saying like like to me usually I, I get distracted too much but but sometimes i kind of avoid it like for example all, all, all last week i was trying to um uh because you know we got we got a lot of family stuff to do and, and things like that and i find uh people just uh, you know, like calling and and you know, even Sammy will come to my place and we'll stay here for hours and hours. I was like, and, and you know, obviously uh, uh, you have other things to do, but but there's some things you just can uh, can escape. I think. <laughs> yeah, it's but, uh, uh, normal. It's life, but that's that's cool because at least people understand. Before we were talking about social media, how many times in social media? Yeah, first of all, yes, we spent too much time on it, so hmm. we need to decide. Okay, I want to just surf the internet. Give yourself half an hour and just do it, but don't mm. stay hours every day. But how many yeah. times when you surf on social media, are you looking for a kind of solution of whatever problem you have, and then you see all these, whatever professional they are, that they make you look in everything perfect. That's mm. not the reality. Yeah. It's not mm. the reality. For example, this morning, I had a couple of classes that I was trying to train myself, and then kids went in the middle, in between, so my my workout it wasn't perfect, but I got that, and uh, and then I had to film some new tutorial, and uh, now I'm in late because it went in when when in in, uh, in between again, and uh, I couldn't get it done in a time frame that uh, you know that I supposed I'll, to. I feel you, man. I feel you. <laughs> but but that's life, like you know. Then you're gonna put extra efforts later, or you're gonna catch up with things. You're gonna finish, but it's important that you keep. That's it you keep focusing on what you really want. Because at least if you have a clear idea, I get it, like, especially like for me, I had to like, you know, all the gym shut it, and then I was training online before, but mm -hmm. so it was easy to adapt. But at the same yeah. time, it's like, it's one thing if you're training or if you're working from home and kids are mm -hmm. at school, and it's another thing 
if you have kids at home and you're trying to work and they're still little and you're going to homeschooling as well and they don't <laughs> really understand that you are at home because you're working because usually yeah. if you're working you are not so mm. guys that's a reality whatever is your situation if it's not perfect that's okay because mm -hmm. it's not perfect oh yeah oh, man oh yeah and yeah, that, that, that's how it is, you know, it's pretty much it. And to, to me, it was, because, um, you know, before this quarantine and, and, and doing all this online stuff, I got, I, I wasn't used to that. Even, I, I was doing some uh, programming, but it wasn't kind of, you know, like the Zoom face-to-face. -face. It was more of, uh, uh, you know, like uh, writing programs and just, because uh, I knew a lot of you know, the people that I would train, uh, writing programs and, and just like that. But but this face-to-face, face -face, it's, it's kind of a, New, you know, so, but uh, but yeah, in uh, in but you're doing it, you're doing it. So what I what mm. I wanted to say is like, yes, it's difficult. Yes, the reality stuff is not perfect, mm. but it's still possible because if it is what you have to do or you what you must do or what you set up to do, mm. somehow you do it anyway. So yeah. aim always for progression, not for perfection. So it's mm -hmm. still. Every step is still a step forward, even if it's mm -hmm. like that, even if it's not perfect, even if it's lower. But if you mm -hmm. tell yourself, oh, no, I can't do it because there are millions of excuses mm -hmm. to stop. Well, mm -hmm. if you stop, 100% you're not going to move forward. Most likely, because everyone or everything else is moving forward, it's like if you're moving actually backwards. Yeah, yeah of course. And that's, it's very important about you. you I think at the moment with, uh, you know, not, not, you were saying before, you know, not all these gyms closing down and you know, not being able to do too many things outside. I think it's uh, just, we have to adapt. Exactly. So it's not the strongest that actually survive, but is the one that adapt quicker. Mm. It's like yeah, in yeah. nature. Like uh, if the climate change, animals need to adapt or they're going to die. Mm -hmm. yeah, and right. if you do it faster, you can still live with, with a different climate, with a different temperature. If you don't adapt or you cannot adapt or you don't want to adapt, and the last mm -hmm. one is the most gen dangerous because it's possible. It's just you don't want it or you don't want to put the effort to adapt. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So you're going to change that status. You're going to change. And like sometimes I always think another tip that I, I can give is when it's getting tough, I don't know if you agree with that, how many times, for example, we have to do something and someday we want to do it, some days we, we don't. Like we feel like oh, it's harder than usual or I'm tired, I'm not mm -hmm. But then to get the power back and that get the motivation to get it done anyway, I'm always mm -hmm. thinking about what's the outcome. Or for example, uh, if you, if you want to eat junk food one day and then I always think like, yeah, but how do I feel after that? And how do I feel instead if I eat the right food? Mm. One, I feel shit, pretty much. The other one, you feel awesome. You get more energy. You can get more things done. You can sleep better. So it's easier to make the best choice if you think mm. about the outcome and how you feel later. It's the same for everything. You don't want to read the book. Well, you're not moving forward. Think about how you will feel. You want a better job, but you don't want to study. Well, think about it, how you can feel financially if you get the study done, if you can improve your position, if you get, get more money. What can you give back to your family or to support someone more than me? There is a lot to, to talk about it, but basically the third oh, yeah. is that one. Think about the outcome if you do it. Yeah, I think it's the same. Like you, you, were, you were touching this on um, the training. You know, there's just days that are, um, like me personally, I try to get about four to five workouts weekly. If I can get more, yeah, you know, it's good. But, but, but there's, there's days that, uh, you know, I just, I just don't feel like training. Like, uh, I don't know, whatever happened during the day or maybe I didn't have to, you know, go, a good meal before it. Like, and because I, I like to prepare myself. Like, I like to, uh, I'm one of those guys that I know, for example, today when I'm going to train tomorrow <laughs> kind of thing. And, uh, but there's, there's, Moments when, when I don't I don't feel like like working out, but uh, but like as you say, you know I, I I push myself and say you know what so you know thinking of how am I gonna feel afterwards, and and, and even you know one of the things that uh, I always I always talk about is even with my my older kid that sometimes he doesn't feel like training, and with you know some people that are training as well, it's uh and it happens to me once you start moving, is you know what the adrenaline 
what what does in your body you know it, it's, it kind of kicks in and yeah. uh, you know it happens to me every, every time and i start lifting then i just i don't want to stop <laughs> you know and, and, I, and i see it happening over and over and over again so you know i think i think that's uh that's something to to keep in mind i think it's very important you know even though sometimes we don't, we don't feel like training but once once you do that step you know like they say you know that first step is very important if you don't make that step nothing's gonna happen yeah and sometimes like it's exactly opposite of what people think it's harder for us than than someone else because if you don't have your coach like for me, I get on fire. I really get excited when I train people. I love to give them the tools to improve all the time and feel better. Mm -hmm. But then sometimes, like after a long day, if I if I didn't train in the morning and then I had to train in the night time, it's tougher because mm -hmm. you start to slow down. Maybe your energy slow down a little bit. You put so much energy into your clients. It's difficult to motivate yourself. Yeah. But you, know, you have to, yeah. and then every time, for example, in my case, I have back injuries because of my accidents. If I not keep myself strong and fit, my core, my posture, my general mm -hmm. strength, my posterior chain, mm -hmm. I, I'm in pain and I can't move yeah. as I want. So mm -hmm. every time I'm not training, I feel worse. And every time I'm training, I feel bad. Yeah. So which one would you choose? Oh, of course, of course. Yeah, that's a good way of seeing it, you know. Me, for example, one, one of the other things that I always, I always talk about with, you know, the people that I train, I always talk about quality of life. Like, you know, you think, because, you know, like, as you know, especially uh, young kids now, they just think of the now. You know, how you look now, how you feel now, and obviously they see, the they, they see the magazine, they see all these, you know, models with awesome ripped bodies and everything. But how are they going to look in 20, 30 years time? Like, I, I always talk about, uh, um, you know, being able to, for example, one, one big example for me, I don't know if you ever heard of him, Steve Maxwell, uh, coach from, from America. The guy, I think he's in his, on his 60s now. And uh, he's one of the influences as well that I had when, uh, when I started kettlebell kind of lifting and functional uh, training. He's a black belt in jiu-jitsu and he's a RKC, you know, kettlebell um, kind of lift as well. He's, he used to be, I think he's a good friend with Steve Scott as well. You, you look at his stuff that he does, his videos and everything. You know, the guy into his 60s, he's, he's moving like a, you know, a guy in his 20s, you know, he's looking pretty fit. You exactly. know, like, that's a goal. And, and that, that's what you want, you know, your quality, like I always say, you know, quality of life, quality of being able to, to walk upright, you know, when you're in your 60s, 70s, you're still, uh, you know, walking without help. Yeah, you know? like if you, if you go for a surf here, would you do well, that when you are 80? Why not? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, oh, gonna, oh, you're gonna work for that. And you can do it. Yeah, of course. And I think that that reflects on the on the on the style and the, and the kind of training that you do. Like you know, for example, now now in my forties, but uh, you know how my, that's one of the things that's always in my head. Not not only the obviously the aesthetic is it's it's it it comes with the territory. I think you know it's it's like a it's a, it's something you get from the training. But it's uh, to me mainly uh, uh, the quality of like I was saying, you know, the quality of like how, you, how this training is gonna help me for my for my future, you know, because I always say to my kids, you know, I I wanna be able to uh, you know walk out, my, you know, my girl, when, when, you know, one day is gonna get married, you know, and you know, down the aisle, you know, looking strong, you know, <laughs> gonna be there, yeah. No, that's it, that's it, that's it you know, and, and being able to to play with my grandkids, you know, and and you know, and and that, that's that's the way I see it, you know, that's. That's one of the things, for example, my, my father still does, uh, and that, that got that from my father. Even though my father, he, he um, he's not like a fanatic, but that, that's how me and my brothers, we started training because my father, seen, when we were little, he would do just body weight stuff every day, every day, every day. He would, he would use us as weight sometimes. And, and I think that, you know, that got in, in my head, and I tried to I reflect that in my kids as well, you know, but, but always with the goal of when, when you get old. You know that all that quality of life, being able yeah, to the right move balance, without help, the right routine, yeah. and yeah. Uh, and as I said before, reach out if you need help because mm. you can't figure out everything by yourself. And it's actually mm. you touched a good point. Like um, one of my biggest goals, what I'm doing is even what I'm doing right now is to impact more parents like us. Mm. Because what you just said is exactly the, the philosophy of how can we help the next generation. Hmm. Our job as a parents 
if you are a parent, you are a coach as well. Of course, of course. Your example, your model, right or wrong, this is what they get. So it's not just important for you, for your future, for getting older and stay younger, but it's the impact and the influence that you have on your kids, on the oh, next generation, on the people around you, with the people mm -hmm. that spend more time with you. And yep. that's bloody positive if you are, mm -hmm. and that's negative if you are negative. So yeah, of course. Make choice yeah. even for the people around you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's, it's, it's, that's right, that's right. It's very important. That's what I, you know, I was saying before. Uh, a, a lot of these stuff that I, I'm like at a, a juice when, when I when I train, I try to uh, pass it over, you know, my kids and you know even even the you know the people that I train, you know, and, and but 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 I find that 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 change a lot of people's mindset, like you know, making them think about the future, you know, how they're gonna feel and, and for example, one one of my clients, uh, um, I started training this guy. We was training this guy for about three or four years, and uh, he's when, when we started, he was single. So, you know, he was uh, training a little bit lazy, and, you know, and then, and then he, had, he had a kid, you know, and, and then uh, I started talking to him, you know, how, you know, important for him is, is for him to look good for his family, like, you know, being strong stuff for his family. Then everything, everything switched, and he said, you know, and then, and, and then he, he would even, even said to me, you know, how he would feel when he would pick up his kid and, you know, what, what his wife would tell him. You know, because of his training, how you know the things that he would do, and and, and after I found that, uh, um, like I was, it was very rewarding, because <laughs> uh, uh, especially you know th this car that uh, that it was um, like obviously needed needed a bit of a bit more of a push, and uh, but but that 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 was that was like uh, something that switched in him, just telling him you know to think of him be strong for his family. You know, so I think that, that that helped some people as well. Not not everybody, obviously, but but I think you know if you think about uh, they are like you know you were saying you know for the generations, not only yourself how you look, but for your kids and obviously if you're you know influence if you have some sort of influence, obviously you know that goes goes a long way. So. so there are two big things here. One, think in think in long term. Because mm. you, as we were talking about before, think about the life that you're going to live for your entire life. So you're going to mm. put your seeds right now. It's not going to happen something fast. Oh, you're yeah, going to have long, long lasting results. You're going to mm -hmm. put consistent effort. Mm -hmm. It's achievable. It's not, it's not that difficult when mm -hmm. you get the positive things. And mm -hmm. two, it's not just about you, but think bigger. Mm. Uh, people around you, it's the entire world, the next generation. So what we do, it's so important. And, uh, and then we got, like, we gave you a few tips about a routine or whatever you believe. Set mm -hmm. up your day in the morning or, or plan it the night before. That's mm -hmm. really important. Set up, what, ask yourself question, what is really important to you. So you, mm -hmm. you got quite a lot from, um, uh, from this podcast today. It's uh, mm -hmm. some things, I believe, in my experience, when I was not doing it, it's because they were looking so simple that I thought that I, no, that's, that's not going to change anything because it's too mm. simple. But I found out even simply having gratitude every single morning for something because it's not all granted. And mm -hmm. I think in this that's time, cool. in this specific time, we understand even more because life can change from today to tomorrow. Oh, yeah. So course. whatever you're blessed to have, you must be grateful for. Yep. And uh, it's much more powerful when you actually put this one from your mind to a piece of paper. You write okay. it down. It's there. It's a different vision. So it's, uh, it's a lot. It's a lot to work on, uh, on it, mm -hmm. even if you, if you think or if you see it simple. The most simple thing are still the most effective if you put it in, in consistent action. Mm -hmm. so yeah, no, no, uh, of course. Yeah, no, of course, of course. That's just very, it's very important. Yeah. And um, you know, obviously, you know, we, we always, we always said that you know, the different, different things that work for different person. And uh, and, um, and and to me, uh, you know, like like I said before, uh, uh, pray, prayer for me is very important. You know, and be, being uh, grateful and thankful for for my life, especially you know, during this time, this this, this period, we, we never, I think, never experienced anything like it <laughs> ever. 
So I think d during this time, especially, you know, we, we all think of our mortality and, and you know, what, what's going to happen tomorrow, you know, it's, you know, it, and, and I think being, being grateful, as you said, you know, it, and um, it's, it's one of the things that we sh should do every day. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. There is always something positive around you. You just need to be calm and embrace the moment and these positive things and be able to see them. Mm. For me, for example, yesterday after a long time, I've been for the swim in the ocean. And the ocean is one of the reasons why I live here in Australia. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, beautiful Gold Coast. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Gold Coast is sunny. And uh, for me, the ocean is a mix of power and peaceful. Right. Like it's peace because it's yeah. coming down with the with the noise of the wave and the sand and the wind is beautiful and it's powerful because the waves are powerful the ocean is big you can't see the end of it and mm. uh, so it's a mix of two things that makes it makes me really really happy and i'm okay. grateful for that i'm grateful to have the water close to me um i'm grateful for my health because as we said it's not granted these days mm. everything can happen and i'm grateful for my family which is like you is another thing that for me is extremely important. I'm Italian and we have a strong yeah. family background similar mm -hmm. to you. Mm. So recognize these things. I know you know it, but until you don't put it out there or you don't talk to yeah. somebody about it, the power mm. is different. Of course, of course. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's something that you know, I should say, you know, we don't, we don't think about it sometimes. We just, you know, we think it just just happens. You know, it's just part of the package of we get when you know we get to this world. <laughs> of course, of course it is. But but you know, I gotta think of of what what involves. Obviously, you know, and and um, and, and everything, everything. Obviously, you know, around us and the whole world, we see all this um, what's happening, and um, it, and pretty much every everybody's talking about negativity and in, in, in they see negativity in, in everything that we do. And, it and, focuses and, maybe on the wrong on the wrong stuff. Yeah, of course, of course. And, and that, that that obviously uh it's about the people you surround yourself, you know, if and uh and that that's why it's important. Yeah, and, and, and sometimes uh you know, as we all know, uh uh, especially, I think especially during this time that we all need that extra lift. I think we need to surround ourselves with people that are going to help us that way, you know? 100%. And, and if we got to, man, if we have to, you know, on, on our way, we have to say goodbye to some friends, I mean, it's let it be, you know, because yeah, we, have, we have to do this, this switch. You know, otherwise we're just going to get stuck in this hole and never get out. <laughs> yeah, so... I think I think that's, it's very important, you know, surround yourself as well. Obviously, the family can get can uh, do much better, you better, you know, relatives and stuff like that. You know, we all have, uh, you know, different, uh, you know, crazy family members, and obviously that, that's uh, you know something that uh, we have to put up put up with. But but I think the people on the outside, I think we can, we can uh, do something about it. I think, you know, when it comes to uh, the people we hang out. For example, you know, the people that uh, I, I know a lot of friends that, that at my age are still doing the same thing we used to do when we were 18, when we, you know. I can and, say the same uh, things. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and to, and to me, it's, it's funny, you know, because, uh, uh, you know, they're, they're still, um, you know, sometimes they, they tag me on things and on social media and, and like, you know, to me, I think, man, these guys are still stuck on, <laughs> you know, when we're young. And, yeah, and, and, I differentiate and, 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 you two different categories. Like, you maybe do the same things over and over again. It can be fun. What I don't understand is if you really want to make a change, if you want to feel better, if you complain about the present, but you don't do anything about it, mm. that's when you say, like, why you don't use the chance to make some choices? Uh, try, try, yeah, yeah. Like you know, something as simple as, uh, uh, as you know, when, when I was young, I remember I used to go, uh, you know, party with my friends, and you know, as as a lot of young kids do, you know, you drink, you get drunk, whatever. And, but but you know, obviously, you know, you move on from that. You know, I think if, I think if you have a bit of common common sense, you, you know, you you kind of put all that behind and you just move on with life. Obviously, you gotta 
uh, uh, think of, you know, what the future, uh, a lot of the people that are, you know, some, some of the friends that I'm talking about, they're still stuck doing the same, <laughs> same. But we, we, uh, but this time they just have families, <laughs> you know. So yeah, yeah to me, it's just, uh, I don't know, just, uh, I, I don't know what to think about it sometimes, you know, because it, it, it's, it's, it's everything out there now. Nothing's, now with the, with the magic of the technology, the social media, it's not that you can just uh, be ignorant, you know, so. Yes, no, uh, they, it's not acceptable. Yeah, 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 of course, you know, and, and, and as you say, and as you say, uh, uh, you know, ask for help. I know, I know that a lot of people, not, not only, um, uh, you know, friends of mine, but, um, but uh, uh, people that I know, you know, from, from uh, my relatives and stuff like that, they, they're still stuck on, on in the same home because they don't ask for help. You know, like what, something you, you, were, you were saying before. I, I, I get some people that yes, they, they call me, they contact me and, and uh, you know, to, for advice and things like that. But, 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 but I know a lot of them that need help, but they just don't want to recognize it. Because you know they think they can, they they, are, they know better, and, and they're still stuck on the same always, you know. So <laughs> I don't know. I, I think, but that, I think that's a that's a problem we'll, you know, society has at the moment, and especially right now with all this, uh, all this called uh, the, the, this virus that's driving everybody nuts. <laughs> so. That's so important, and we're talking about the environment. If you put yourself in the right environment, if you spend more time with the right people, better than you, more positive than you, more powerful. Um, is actually lifting up, lifting you up naturally, mm. and uh, I really suggest to do that if you feel stuck, and asking for help if you feel stuck. Uh, watch more videos, not the one that do stupid things, but something you get, as I said before, a return on investment. You get mm. some positive message out of that, and I promise you feel better. And if you feel better, you put on top that maybe you go out, you do your meditation, or you do your great. Uh, your gratitude exercise, and you do your physical exercise, and you put in your mouth and for your kids a better quality food, I promise, 100%, I can bet, you will feel better. And you oh, start yeah, to yeah. take more action like that. It's a positive cycle. Mm -hmm. No, no, that, that's right, that's right. You know, it's, that's true, but um, yeah, you, you just take the, the first step, I think, for, for people to do it. And uh, I think that it, sometimes we have to get out of our, our bubble. Yeah, get the feeling kick in or, or feeling something mm -hmm. different and better. Because I always say, if you try something that makes you feel so much better, would you go mm -hmm. back and feel worse? No. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you will be not really smart. <laughs> of course. Of course yeah. So yeah, that's, that's get right. that feeling. Do something. Push you through a little, something a little bit different. Because if you mm -hmm. keep doing the same things, don't expect any change. But oh, if yeah, you fine. trust somebody who have it is... If you trust some coach, if you trust some friends, some family members, mm -hmm. whoever can lift you up, that's mm -hmm. what we do too. Like, yep. trust it, do it. Because if you get to that feeling, you're not going to go back ever again. You actually progress forward. You want to. You want to better than better than better. And be there for your kids. Be there mm -hmm. when they get married. Be there for your grandkids. Yeah, yeah. And react. With that mentality, every time it may be happen again, this situation we don't know. Mm. Learn from it, change, improve your mindset, improve the way you react, improve your habits. Mm. I think that's that's the key. Mm. Yeah, no, that's it's very it's very it's very important. But uh, but you know, like people like you and, and you know a, a lot of people are they're out there now. Like like I was saying, you know, this, this is not, it's not secret anymore. I think that they're helping people realizing that, that that's what they need to do. You know, that's very important. Like, um, uh, I think people need to, like you were saying, you know, speak about it. Like, not, not only uh, the physical aspect, because we know that, I, th I think, what, what I think that's the easiest part, you know, that what we can do, exercise and, and all that, but, but the mental side of it, that's, you know, it's, it's, it's um, I think it's more important. And starting with small things, like you don't have to go from nothing to too much. Make it simple. Make it simple. I use always three things in my, in my coaching. Simple, mm -hmm. achievable, sustainable. If you've got these three things, you are right. Forever. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid and don't think it's going to be too difficult for you. It's possible yeah. if you make it possible and reach for help.
All right. So I don't want to get more out of your busy time. And uh, I really, really appreciate and grateful for the time that you just put it out there for every people that we know uh, cities. And yeah, thank, um, thank, you. thank you for having me in your uh, what is it podcast? <laughs> what do you call it? <laughs> yeah, I call it the, the the healthy mind podcast. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that's good. That's good. We need, we need more more uh, more uh, podcasts of this. All right. <laughs> yeah, you will see more and more and more. And uh, and so guys, if you want to reach out to me to him, like we're always available to help. And uh, your energy it gives us more energy. If you get any feedback, if you have any specific questions that you want to get answered on the next episode, just let us know, and um, we will do our best to to help you out. So, thanks again, uh, Zama. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Alex. It's been a pleasure, and uh, we will catch up again soon. Yeah, no worries. We we'll see you. You have a great day, and right, talk to your family and the three kids, guys. Three kids. All this is possible with three kids. It's not easy. I got two, and it's already a big job. <laughs> All right. All right, bye. We'll see you. Ciao, man. All right, bye-bye. Thanks again.